Hey guys, Mike Moreno here. Just want to share with you a quick video on something really interesting I learned today. So occasionally I watch a short YouTube channel that does short documentaries. And today they featured John Anthony Walker, which I don't know if you know, but he was an enlisted guy in the U.S. Navy from the 60s until 1985. And he's famous because he sold all of our U.S. Navy top secret documents he had access to to the Russians. And the interesting part is when he went to the Russians with this offer, the Russians asked, what are you looking for in this compensation in return? Now, most people would probably think that he'd ask for $1 million in the 1968. However, surprisingly enough, he asked for $1,000 per week for the rest of his life. And now in 1968 to today's money, that's equivalent to $7,200 per week or $29,000 per month. So that's a significant amount of money. But the Russians were actually baffled and were wondering if this guy was legit because he asked for what would be considered such a low amount of money, but in weekly installments. For such a horrible person, the interesting part is John Anthony Walker understood something about human psychology that we can learn in our real estate investing. And number one is, we've all heard the statistic, 70% of lottery winners end up going bankrupt and broke in a few years. That's because when you get a huge check in the mail, right? A big surprise, uh, something you weren't anticipating. Human nature wants to spend it all. Oh, I want to buy a, a huge sports car or live out their dream immediately. Short term, blow it all with money. Number two was security. So if you get a check every week or every month for the rest of your life, you now don't have to worry about debt payments. A worry-free life, for most people, including myself, is the ultimate key to happiness. And number three, when you think about it, every debt that we pay as Americans is based on a monthly installment, right? Your credit cards ask for uh, the balance on your statement every month. Even if you don't have a mortgage, if you own your house outright, you still have to pay utilities every month. You still have to pay, pay property taxes and insurance on it. So I thought that was interesting. John Anthony Walker, a little bad guy, he actually was quite smart with his finances. And we can relate this to in seller financing when we deal with real estate. A lot of people question why would a seller ask or accept monthly payments rather than a lump sum? Well, outside the tax implications of taking a lump sum, which are pretty hefty, John Anthony Walker understood in order to obtain happiness and complete financial freedom, it was the weekly or monthly installments from the Russians which would make him happy. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. I hope to see you guys next time, and I'll put a link to that biographics video in the description. See you next time.